All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Once again, when you're at the website, sign up for the free newsletter. Check out the free gift download. Setting goals, nutrition, supplementation. Also, check us out on social media. Like the pages, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Got the podcast out there, True Results 303, no E. Check that out right there. Don't let autocorrect get you. Coming at you today with a video on praying before sex, before intercourse, right? And of course, if we're living the Christian lifestyle, this is going to be during marriage because that's the only time you should be engaging in intercourse. Uh, so I was reading this book, Be a Man. It was in here, and then I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I was just flipping through it. I couldn't find it. But it talked about being a man of prayer. And if you are Catholic, and if you are studying the faith on uh, the regular, you are going to know of something called theology of the body. If, you, if you're non-Catholic, you might not know it. Check it out. Theology of the body or man and woman, he made them. Okay? Um, and we know that, of course, sexual intercourse is a sacred thing that God has given us, not only for procreation, but another way to, as, as you've heard the term, consummate the marriage, to become one flesh, right? So have you ever prayed before sex? Have you ever prayed during sex, after sex, something along those lines? It's in this book. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. Be a Man by Father Larry Richards. Great book for Christian men. Even if you're not Catholic, great book. You need to get this book. Uh, so yeah, you know, I just want to encourage people to start maybe praying before sex. And, and the whole concept of this is not to pray alone. You pray with your spouse together, right? Maybe you are praying um, to conceive a child. You know, I don't know if, if, if married couples actually pray. I'm not a married person, so. But those having difficulties conceiving, are they actually praying together before intercourse? You know, um, or during. I know they might say it on their own, you know, like the wife or husband might be driving to work. Lord, just let us have a baby. Let us have a baby. But maybe this is a time where the two of you need to come together and actually pray for this. You know, uh, maybe try praying during. I don't know, you know. But it was in the book and I thought it was an interesting concept. And then I remembered it's also in the Bible. Praying. Uh, so... Let's check it out. Let me let me get it here. So for us, um, it's I don't know if this is only in the Catholic Bible or not. There are different books in the Catholic Bible than another other uh, Christian Bibles. I don't know if Tobit is in there. You can see I got Tobit here. Tobit eight. So I don't know if it's in there in the other Bibles. I don't know if that one is one of the books that y'all don't have if you are somewhere else. Um, so this is Tobiah and Sarah. So I'm just going to go eight four. When Sarah's parents left the bedroom, they closed the door behind them. Tobiah rose from bed and said to his wife, My sister, come, let us pray and beg our Lord to grant us mercy and protect us. She got up and they started to pray and beg that they might be protected. He began with these words, Blessed are you, O God of our ancestors. Blessed by your name, be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all of your creation bless you forever. You made Adam and you made his wife Eve. To be his help, to be his helper and support, and from these two, and from these two, the human race has come. You said it is not good for man to be alone. Let us make him a helper like himself. Now that, now, now not with lust but with fidelity, I take this kinswoman as my wife. Send down your mercy on me and her, and grant that we may grow old together. Bless us with children so why did he say this let's see if i can find it somewhere in here it was uh i think they tried to marry sarah before earlier in the chapter and i didn't look at it and uh, all of them were dying right and i think it was they got married they would have intercourse if i remember correctly i'm trying to glance here while i talk to you and then they would die right after intercourse all of them so that's why later on it says uh, but Raggle got up and summoned his servant. They went out to him and dug a grave, for they said, Perhaps Tobiah will die. Then we would be 
a laughing stock and an object of mockery. When they had finished digging the grave, Ragul went back to, into the house and called his wife, saying, Send one of the maids to see whether he is alive. If he has died, let us bury him without anyone knowing about it. They sent the maid, lit a lamp, and, upon, and opened the door, the bedroom door. She went in and found them sleeping together. The maid came out and told them that Tobiah was alive and nothing was wrong. Then they praised God. They praised the God of heaven with these words. So, you know, it is in there. Like I said, I was trying to find uh, somewhere in here, if I could see it, where that was the the real reason why but I'm pretty sure that's what happened earlier in the story but I could be wrong but anyways once again I think it's you know the greatest thing that you can do for God is to praise him to pray to him to meditate on him on his word so you know besides intercourse with your wife the only more sacred thing that the two of you can do together is pray together, right? And as men, that's our duty to lead our family spiritually. So there's no better way to lead, I think, maybe your, your sexual life with your wife through prayer. Whether it be before, during, maybe even after. Experimental is something you have to uh, talk about together and I think it's probably you know it's gonna probably be a strange conversation to have I wouldn't lie I was kind of iffy on even making this video because it does sound kind of crazy but it was in the book be a man it's in the Bible so I thought it's something that I definitely think that we as men need to consider we need to consider this you know this uh, form of prayer and I think isn't that kind of what the Karma Sutra type stuff is already about anyways. I know what I, this is going to be a horrible analogy here, but, you know, it was like uh, American Pie when, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. The one that was always feuding with Stifler, uh, you know, but where he was practicing, it was like American Pie 2, you know, and he was like meditation where you can orgasm for hours or something. I don't know what it was, but. You know, that form of meditation and prayer. And I think you should bring it together with your wife and, and bring it in the bedroom. You know, because what, what what's the main, you know, the main rule? They say if God doesn't rule your bedroom, what is, you know, if Jesus isn't king of your bedroom, isn't God of your bedroom, isn't Lord of your bedroom, he's Lord of nothing then. If God isn't Lord over your finances, he's not Lord over anything. If God is not Lord over you, he's not Lord over anything. You know what I mean? So... Give it a try, you know. Like I said, it's probably going to be a difficult topic to actually bring up, um, but I think it might help. Just show her this video. Maybe let her know, you know, if, if it's a difficult topic to bring up. If you're a wife, show this video to your husband. Maybe that's the best way to actually go about bringing the discussion up. So, once again, don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, the podcast. True Results 303, all major podcast players. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share and like these videos.